My typical call starts off, uh, especially with small ponds in the southeast. Hey, Gray, I have some grass in my pond. Uh, it's out there. I don't want it there. How do I get rid of it? Um, my typical response is, well, what kind of grass? Um, the ID of the plant species matters. Um, when someone tells me they have a grass species, I literally start thinking about an aquatic grass species. Uh, and the image you see here to the right, um, the species is Zaniopsis miliaceae, or giant cut grass. That is a grass species that requires water to survive, requires a lot of water to survive. Um, it's not like the typical grass that you see in your yard or in a pasture setting. Um, so when someone tells me they have grass in their pond, that's what I immediately think of as a grass species. Um, however, what I often find is that most people mean they have some sort of plant. They, in they interchange grass and plant. And what they really could mean is anything that you see in these images here, any type of aquatic plant species uh, falls in their purview of, of grass. Uh, here in the top left image we have some polygonum species, uh, we have a few aquatic ferns. Uh, in, the t in the top center image there you have cattail, uh, which can look like a grass species. Uh, on the top right there you have a submerged species as well as that aquatic fern again. The bottom left is a floating species that's actually uh, the number one aquatic weed in the world. That's water hyacinth uh, that kicked off a lot of aquatic weed issues in the uh, uh, management issues in the United States. Uh, in the bottom center there is hydrilla. That's one of the worst aquatic weeds uh, in the southeastern U.S. and in the world. It's actually listed on the federal noxious weed list. Um, that means that's illegal to, to have that plant in your possession, uh, to move it around, uh, in most cases to even touch it. <laughs> it's just a bad idea, don't touch it. Uh, and on the right there you have another true grass species, uh, Panicum repens or torpedo grass, uh, which can be problematic in both terrestrial and aquatic settings. The kind of species matters uh, because proper control starts with the proper identification. Um, you can see in the image here, we have two species that look closely, uh, look very similar, and they're both closely related. Uh, they both fall in the plant species Hydrocaritaceae. Um, the one on the left is an invasive species, and the one on the right is a, is a native. Typically, we manage for our natives and try to control or eradicate our invasives. Uh, in this case, if you thought you had LED in a pond or a water body that you wanted to manage, uh, and you tried to use the herbicide endothol, uh, it wouldn't work very well. Even though it looks similar to hydrilla, which endothol will work very well on, uh, you would not get good control. And so you'd end up wasting a lot of time and money on herbicide trying to control a plant species that A, you probably didn't need to control to begin with, uh, and B, uh, plant species that would not respond to that particular control strategy.